Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video we have the Vax Spot Wash Spot Cleaner. This was 99.99 uh, .99 from Amazon. Um, I believe it was on offer. Um, the actual price I think was 129. Um, but we got it on offer for 99.99. .99. It's got lots of good reviews. Um, there'll be links in the description if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, we bought this because we've just recently moved and while we've uh, been in and out uh, moving you know things from the old house to the new house it's not practical to keep taking your shoes off so we've been walking along the new carpets and getting them dirty um, hence the reason for buying this um, but there's a patch at the main entrance that's um, quite dirty now so I'm going to test it out on that and uh, we'll see it working we'll see how just how good it is um, so yeah we'll just open the box up uh, just, I just want to apologise about the lighting by the way, I'm not sure it's going to look to you guys watching. Um, it's night time so I'm using a spotlight. I'm hoping it's not too bright. But anyway, in the box we have the cleaner itself obviously. Um, we got a bottle of uh, cleaner solution, which I didn't realise we got. So that's good. Um, and we have an instruction manual. It's not that many pages long. Should be simple enough. We have a cleaning, um, I forgot what you call this now, what is it? A cleaning head or whatever. And we have some bits and bats of plastic things, but I'm not sure what the fuck yet. A bit close something to do. This, uh, we have the cleaner itself, and as you can see, we have some chambers here. Um, now I've never had one of these before, so I don't know entirely how they work, but to guess I would say that one side was for clean water and the other side will be for the dirty water that it sucks back up. Possibly. I don't know. We're going to read the instructions and then we are going to test it out on a dirty patch of carpet near the main entrance. Actually, change of plan. Um, my fiance got this off someone on Facebook Marketplace the other day. Um, she got it as a project, she's going to recover it, put some new feet on it, blah blah blah. Um, this was just going to get ripped off, but what we're going to do is, since it's so um, dirty, which you can clearly, clearly see that it is, we thought why not give the um, cleaner a test out on this, which would, I mean, if it can get that clean and looking new, then we know that we're on, we're on to a winner with this fax. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so these are hose clips, and where they go is here at the bottom. They just slide in. And when you've got those hose clips on, it just allows you to wrap the hose around the uh, machine. And now we're just going to place the wash tool onto the end of the hose, like that. It comes off by just pushing that button there, flat back on. So as you can see, once the hose is clipped back in, it just wraps around like that. So now we're going to remove the clean water tank, which is this side, and we know that because it says so there. And on the back, um, if you're doing a small area, then you'll go with this. If you're doing a large area, you'll go with this. So we fill the water to this line, and we put the solution in up to this line. And we are only doing a small area, so that's all we're going to need. This is the fill cap. And once we've um, done that, we'll mount it back onto the Vax machine, cleaning machine. Something I should have mentioned is that that water is warm water, not hot. Uh, no more than 40 degrees is recommended. So the cleaning tool has two uh, attachments. This one is a multi-purpose attachment for upholstery and things like that. And this attachment is for herd wearing carpets. We're going to be using this attachment. So this trigger here is what releases the water and solution from here. And then we'll do... Um, 
a back and, fo back and forth motion whilst releasing a bit of the um, solution and then once we've done we'll tilt forward and there's a there's a gap here you can see it and that's what sucks the water back up so you'll tilt it forward like this run it along and it'll, it'll take the water back so we're all plugged in I'm going to turn it on and then um, get using it might be a bit loud this So I'm just going to leave my fiance to take over and do the whole thing and then we'll see what it looks like once it's done. So as you can see, I mean, we've only done the top, we've not done the sides or anything like that. That's took that stain out, and there was one, I think it was here, a stain here, that looked like it won't come out, um, but it has. Um, I'll show you the, uh, as you can see, that's the clean water chamber. This is the dirty water chamber, and it's took out a lot of dirt. As you can see. Um, now to touch afterwards, it's it's damp, but it's not wet. It really does suck out the water really well. Um, you have to put a before and after picture on the screen for you just to see the difference. Um, it's a bit polarizing, to be honest, but you can clearly see that the stain, the, the big stain that was it was like all here has gone, and the little stain has gone from there. There's a few marks left on it. Um, but we haven't really, we didn't really go over it, you know, too um, aggressively, shall we say. But yeah, it's definitely a lot cleaner. Um, if you do get one of these, don't, don't forget to activate your two year warranty. Um, and do read the do's and don'ts um, that we have. We have quite a few don'ts there. And lots of do's. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. So that wasn't um, the end of the video actually. Um, it's been a couple of days, but um, my fiance went over the whole um, footstool, and if you remember how dirty it was on top, it was 
kind of that dirty on the sides as well. Oh yeah, it's come up really nice actually, really really clean. Um, it only took a few hours to dry. I mean, it was barely it barely damp once we'd finished. Um, something to note is that <clears throat> when you're doing it, the bristles of the thing, as they're flicking, they're actually flicking soap. So don't do this near anything that you don't want to get the soap on. I mean, they realised afterwards that that's what was happening um, on the walls. It was easily cleaned off. But like I said, if you've got anything that you don't want to get the soap on, then just don't do it near there. Um, so yeah, now that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.